Hey gun people, going to talk about uh, how, how I keep my guns loaded. And again, this is a personal preference thing. This, this isn't written in stone, a lot of people are going to maybe disagree. I'm going to tell you why I do it, what, what my thought process for doing it. And if you want to incorporate it, then that's great. And if you don't, well that's great too. I'm just passing on my reasoning and why I do it. So, any of my ARs that I keep loaded, I always have a magazine with ammo in it. But, I always keep them on fire and the trigger is depressed. Okay, by keeping the trigger, when I say the trigger is already depressed, if you cock this, that's the only way I can get this gun to go on safe. It has to be cocked. So the trigger is in the cocked position and there's tension on that trigger. I don't like leaving my triggers in a cocked position. 1911 is different because they're designed to be carried locked and cocked is the term. And they're designed for the hammer to be back. It's got a flat spring. Uh, other weapons, other rifles, I, I, don't, I don't like to keep them in a, in a firing position. So the only way to get this gun to safe is to make sure it's cocked because it won't go to safe once I pull the trigger. Pull the trigger, won't go to safe. Has to, you have to cock it to go to safe. So I, and in and, and a crisis, I don't want to have to be remembering to take my safety off. I'm not a big fan of safeties. I think, you know, everybody thinks that uh, Black Hawk Down started the finger is my safety and this is my safety. That's been around for years. You know, keep your finger off the trigger, that, that's your safety. Revolvers haven't had safeties, they've never had safeties. So guns with safeties, people that want safeties, they've just been programmed over the years, you need a safety. Okay, so I always keep my rifles on fire, ready to shoot, and the, the uh, trigger hammer is depressed, it's fired. Okay, and I do that for a few reasons. One, I don't want to have pressure on here, on here. Two, I don't want to have to worry about putting a gun on fire if I need it. And three, if someone else grabs my gun and tries to use it against me, they're not going to know it's not cocked. So they're going to have to be familiar with the weapon in order to use it against me. So, of course, if they watch my video, they'll know, but <laughs> that's a different story. So you have your, you, you, you have your, I have my ammo in here, and I always keep a full magazine, or not quite full. I, I take out a few because I don't think I need 30 rounds, but I just take out a few so the spring's not completely compressed. Some people say it doesn't matter, it doesn't hurt it. I mean, in the military, we carried them always compressed forever and never had problems. So, um, so I keep, this is, this is the way, if you find my gun right now, uh, hammer's depressed, I know if you squeeze the trigger it can't go off, okay, there's no bullet in the chamber and it's on fire. Uh, this is how I keep my ARs or any rifle actually with a safety. Uh, shotguns, same way. Uh, I, I've got bullets in it, uh, but I would have to rack around in order to fire it but it's on fire and the trigger is depressed. So to put this gun into action, all I have to do is get around in the chamber. So when I pick this gun up, now I wouldn't carry, if I was out on patrol and I was carrying this gun, I would have a round in the chamber. And depending on if I was patrolling or looking for somebody either as a cop or in the military, depending on whether I'm in a hostile area or we're just moving from one point to the other and we're somewhat secure, it would depend on whether or not my gun was on safe or fire. If I had a field of fire and I'm walking and I'm on this side, the people on this side are got their guns this way, well then our, our guns are in a field of fire, my gun's gonna be on safe, my fingers gonna or on fire and my finger's gonna be off the trigger. Because if we get in a hostile situation, all I want to do is have to pull the trigger. So again, that's how I carry the gun. So when I had picked this gun up, if I pick this gun either out of you know out of my car or uh, have one around the house or whatever, um, when I pick up my ARs, I know I have to jack around to get it into, into action. That put a round in the chamber, now it's on fire, it's ready to shoot. All I have to do is pull the trigger. Okay? So that's, that's how I get my, uh, do a visual check there, squeeze that trigger. I know it's safe, gun's pointed in the right direction. Take my, my magazine back in there, put it in. And now my gun's ready to go back, either in the car, or in the house, wherever I want to keep it. Won't go on safe. Will not go on safe. 
I always know. So when somebody else were to pick up this gun, let's say they found my gun or we got in a fight over my gun before I chambered around, I mean, I'm chambering around when I'm ready to engage. But if somebody tried to take this gun or fight me, if they got it, I would know, unless they chamber around, they can't use this gun against me. That's going to give me time to draw my pistol and engage or to attack them and retake my gun. So uh, that, that's why I carry it that way. Some people are going to say, oh, you should always carry one in the chamber keeping it safe. Uh, now, I, this is just the way I carry it, and that's up to you, know, that's up to you how, how you want to carry it. Uh, when I had one in my patrol car, I would keep one in the chamber and it on safe. And then when I knew when I grabbed it, I just went to fire and I was ready in action. But that, that to me, is a little bit different. It's locked up. I need to get it out of a locked area. Uh, when I pull it out, I know there's around the chamber. I know it's on safe. Uh, so in my patrol car, I carried it with one in the chamber locked. Because I was much more likely to get into something. Uh, around my house and in my car, I'm not out there chasing and, you know, being a cop. So... It's more of a defensive gun that if I need it to either protect someone else or to protect myself. So I would know. Okay? So that's that's the AR. Lay this sucker down here. Pistol. Different. Pistol, I keep one in the chamber. Because when I draw, I want my gun ready to go. This is my safety. My gun's ready to go. <coughs> so I know when I pick up a pistol. All I have to do is squeeze the trigger. I don't. Now, some people uh, will will carry no round in the chamber, and it depressed. And I could carry this the same way as I carry my rifle. Trigger's depressed. There's not a round in the chamber. There's no safety on this, but if the gun had a safety, I could put my mag in there, leave it on fire, and this gun would not shoot or be ready to shoot. And if somebody took it, they would go like this. So unless they knew to rack around and get the gun in the battery and, and put around the chamber, they wouldn't know that they need to do that in order to get this gun into action. So that would give me time to think, to react, to grab the gun. I know they have to do that. Maybe to go for my backup gun, to push them away while they're looking at the gun saying, why ain't this thing firing? I can push them away, go for my ankle or backup gun, and then engage them. So I carry this gun loaded, one in the chamber, ready to draw. So when I, when I pull my pistol, Again, pistols are more for close in, close encounters. You're, you're, you're defending yourself in a close encounter. This is a defensive gun, so you're reacting to someone else's aggression. You don't go out hunting with a pistol. You don't go out uh, in combat looking for other people or your enemy with a pistol. You go with a rifle. You want some distance. You want the ability to engage them at a distance. You want better accuracy, longer range, more power, all the benefits that come with a rifle. That's why a rifle is an offensive weapon, a pistol is a defensive weapon. And when you hear that term, people are like, well, you know, they're both weapons, they'll both kill you, they both do the same thing. They do, but they're, they're more designed. When I'm clearing a house or moving, I can pull this gun in, I can slice the pie around corners, I can, I can maneuver this gun a lot closer and not have to expose it. Whereas a rifle is sticking way out here, I would never clear a house like this walking into buildings and keeping this gun way out in front of me. It's too easy for somebody to grab or take away from me. So I would be adjusting, moving in, slicing the pie, coming around, clear, doing things that, that would keep that gun from exposing or breaking the barrier first. Well, the rifle, that's very difficult to do. The, the barrel always telegraphs your next move or where you're at or where you're coming from. So that's why, you know, when you're clearing barrel, you want shorter barrel rifles. We had the MP5s, uh, HK MP5, they were a lot shorter, so for clearing houses or going into close areas, they were a little bit better because they weren't, you know, it's not, if they, the barrel wasn't this long, the barrel was maybe this long. So I could come in here and I could use this a little bit better. A pistol, I can even get closer and get in here. So that, that's, that, that's my philosophy on how I carry guns. Like I said, when I grab, you grab one of my pistols, they're ready to go. Pull the trigger and you're going. You grab a rifle, you're going to need to chamber around and then squeeze the trigger. And again, that's going to give me, you know, if I jack around and, and out of my 870 or my 1100 and put a, a shotgun around the chamber, that sound is a warning or a little intimidating or somebody knows, hey, I just heard a shotgun, maybe it's time to leave. Or when I jack around, you know, most people will know the sound of this AR. Take my mag out. This sound. They will know that sound, and that's a very unique sound for anybody that's been around them they know what that means so this 
is the same as jacking a shotgun, shh, that round that everybody's intimidated. This is the same thing. And that will get me in, into the fight or where I need to be. Now again, this gun's going to be set to go. I know there's no mag, but I'm going to visually check. Nothing in the chamber. Squeeze the trigger. Point it in a safe direction. Now it's on fire. It won't go to safe. I'll put my magazine back in. And this gun is good to go. Ready for me to put wherever I need to put it when I grab it and need it uh, for whatever I need it for. All right. So that's the way I carry it. That's why I carry it that way. Agree or disagree, you can put comments. Uh, you know, if I, I'd like to hear how other people do it and why they don't like this or why they agree with this. That'll be great. All right, we'll end that there.